<laughs> Tune into this week's Xamarin Essential API of the Week, where we take a look at device display information, giving you access to information about the user's device and rotation changes as well. So tune in to learn more. Welcome back to another Xamarin Essential API of the Week. Today, we're taking a look at the device display information of your user's device. This is a cool API because it gives you access to information about the height and the, the width of your user's device, the screen density, and even events to tie in when the device rotates. This is super duper cool. I really, really like it. So let's see how to integrate it into our application. So here I am on our docs. Of course, we can get started with Xamarin Essentials, which will walk you through installing the NuGet. So I've actually done that right here inside of Visual Studio 2019. I have my iOS and Android project with it installed and my .NET standard project. Of course, Xamarin Essentials supports Tizen, watchOS, tvOS, and UWP. So if you have those projects, add it there too. Then of course, our documentation, documentation walks us through all of the different features like connectivity, device info, file systems, and here is that device display information. What's cool is that there's no additional permissions required. You can just bring in Xamarin Essentials and start using it immediately. You can get information about the orientation, the rotation, the width and height, and even get an event here whenever the main display information changes. Finally, you can even keep the device on by setting the keep screen on. This is nice if you're doing geolocation or you have some reason to always keep the device on, uh, the screen on, you can do that with setting that single property. But let's take a look at how easy it is to integrate some of these features. So I have a single page called device info page. We used this previously to show information about the device such as the, um, uh, if it was a virtual or physical device, what version of Android, um, and if it was a phone or a tablet. But here I have another label called label device display, and that's what we're going to use. So here's what we'll do. In the code behind, to get started, uh, when my page loads up, I'm going to say label device display dot text, and I'm going to say device display, and that's inside of Xamarin Essentials. So if I was to go up here, we could see label uh, device display dot text, and I could say Xamarin dot essentials dot device display. And that would give me all those APIs there, but I brought in the using statement ahead of time. Now here, I have a few things available to me. Here's that keep screen on. So I could set that if I want to keep the screen on always. The main display information, wherever my application is running, and then a changed event. Now what's clear is I'll just say main display info dot to string, and I will output all of the information about the display. Now what we'll also do is whenever the page appears, we will go ahead and loop, loop into that um, API in device display whenever the information changes about it. So let's say I rotate the device. So whenever it changes, I'll say plus equals, and I'll add a new event. Now when my page disappears, we will remove that event. There we go. So I'll say minus equals. And now what we can do here is access the display info changed event args. So I'll again say label device display dot text equals e dot. I can to string that. Um, but I really just want that current display info, and then I will two string that. So now whenever the device information changes, I'm able to print that information out immediately on my device. Now this information is really nice when you are getting information from your users, like either debugging through a problem, or you want to report that back um, to your analytics system. There's a lot of other use cases for it. Uh, for screen layout too. Maybe you're using a collection view and you want so many columns when the width of the screen is so large. So here we go. Let's go ahead and go into our device info. And here we go. We get a little bit of information that we printed out early, earlier about the version and the platform. But let's take a look here at our label. So immediately if I pull this up on that two string, we can see that this is 1920 by 1080 with a density of 2.625 in portrait with a rotation of zero. 
So you get all of that with literally one line of code to print that out. Now I could come into the specific main display and take a look at all of the properties individually, but here it is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy it onto my device. The emulators are a little bit weird with orientation changes, so I always like to test this on a physical device so I get the real screen metric. So I'm going to deploy it to my Pixel 2 XL here so we can see it on the real physical hardware. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to screen mirror my device here so we can see it. So this is our App Essentials, which has all the different demos that we've used in the Essential API of the week, and I'm going to go into Device Info. And here we have some information about the device itself. Let's skip down to the main display. Now we can see that this is 288, yeah, 2880 by 1440 with a screen density of 3.5, currently in portrait with a rotation of zero. So we get that information because I two stringed it, but I can always hover over the main display and drop down all of those different properties here. I can see that the orientation and uh, rotation are enums from Xamarin Essentials. So now what I'll do here is simply rotate the device. There we go. We get a notification that the screen has rotated and I'm gonna hit continue. And now what we'll see right here that this has the opposite height and width, same density, but landscape and rotation 90. There you have it. Just that simple to start getting the screen information from your user's device with a few lines of code with Xamarin Essentials. I hope you enjoyed this Essential API of the Week and enjoy all the Essential API of the Week that you can find here on Channel 9 and YouTube. So tune in for even more. Hey, it's James. I'm just checking in and wanted to thank you for watching this awesome Xamarin Essential API of the Week. Now, don't forget to do all the things, such as like, subscribe, and ding that notification bell for even more videos. And while you're here, check out more Xamarin Essential API videos of the week. They're all right here. Go do it right now. It's awesome.